Hello and happy Tuesday. Decided I will be vlogging this week, but I didn't start until today at 3.48. I'm about to go down to the gym. Today is upper body and I gotta go for a jog as well. So I'm gonna run outside for that. It's a nice day. Let's see the temperature. 63 degrees out right now. By the time I get outside, it'll still be like 60, so that's good. And it's almost four, so I ha I'm good on time. I have a client call tonight at 7.30, but I just have to make sure I'm like ready to go by then. Um, I have a couple of exciting packages, or just one exciting package actually. I will show you that because it's one of the most exciting things that I have probably ever purchased, <laughs> uh, but I'll show you. Change of plans, y'all. The gym is popping right now. Like, I can't, I can't get on anything in there. And there's people like blasting their music because they act like the world revolves around them. So I'm gonna go across the street to the other apartment complex and hopefully it'll be less crowded. Much better. There's only two people in here. This is a vacuum. I'm holding this little vacuum. It's a, it's a big vacuum, but it folds up. Well, I don't know, we'll see. So I'm opening it now, I need to go on a jog. As you guys saw, I ended up going over to the apartments across the street. Um, that was so much better. I actually like the, the look of that gym way more and it, there's way more space. Less people, hopefully it stays that way. So I'll probably start going over there anytime it's warm or when I feel like it. I wanted to open this, so plug it. I can link this below. My whole like, I wanna not buy from Amazon thing isn't working. I wanna charge it so that when I, can com when I come back, I can vacuum. I really wanted to purchase this vacuum because the one I have doesn't have a roller. And my hair is just everywhere. Like, I cannot deal with my hair anymore. Y'all, like, this is what I'm talking about, Amazon. One or the other. One or the other. Ay, ay, ay. I bought command strips as well because I'm hanging up. I'm getting a whole new desk. I'm all over the place. As I was saying, I, I wanted to not buy from Amazon. I've been buying from Amazon because it's, there's just no other options that are good, you know? Like, I got the vacuum because I need to suck up the hair on the rug and I just wanted something that's cordless to make my life easier. I got command strips because I have my large bulletin board that I have changed to a calendar and just stuff that I'm gonna have for work. So I got a bunch of these. Hopefully this will hold it up. Grab my pepper spray and run. Sun is done. Beautiful day out. It's get this temperature is dropping a little bit, but right now it's perfect after my run because I'm pretty hot. Now I'm just gonna walk back. I have a mile and a half or so to go back. I ran my mile in nine minutes, 43 seconds, I think, which is pretty good. That's pretty standard for what I've been doing lately. Now I'm listening to a podcast, Bigger Pockets Money Podcast. I'm here for a back vacuum review. I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. I would say this is good for somebody who has no hair. I don't know. what I don't know what I was expecting. I, actually, I do know what I was expecting. I'll take that back. I was expecting this to just change my life. I have a vacuum that has no roller on the bottom, like so. This has a roller, right? Um, that's what I don't have on my current vacuum. So I wanted to get this. I wanted it to be cordless. This is great. Love the cordless. That is a game changer for me. And it did pick up a lot. I will give it that. I'll show you in just a moment. If you're grossed out by hair and dust, then don't watch. But when your hair is like 24 inches long, it just, all it does is get wraps around the roller. And I don't know if I was expecting that not to happen. I don't know, I just feel like whenever I've used a vacuum in the past, it does get stuck in the roller, but a whole lot of it also gets sucked up. 
I will say it did. I, I'm gonna touch this just because it's my hair, my house. I don't really care, but also because um, I'm about to wash my hands. So this, it comes with this nifty little tool where you can, it's kind of like an envelope opener. So you can cut through the hair in the roller and then rip it out, which is what I did. It doesn't bother me that much because it's my hair. That's where this came from, okay? And well, some of this, actually I'll take that back. That's where this came from for the most part. This was what was actually vacuumed. So that's pretty decent considering like I vacuum just about every single week with my other one, but I just was expecting a little bit more. That's my review. Good morning. Putting on my shoes. Today is Wednesday. It's 7.13 in the morning. I'm off to work. And uh, I do have an appointment with my GI today at 12.20. But then I'm going to go back to work. I just spent the last... I don't know how long counting all of my change that I have. I have like $50 worth of change. For some reason, I was expecting it to be more. And the reason I started was because I was on the phone with Sebastian by my charger, which was by my little coins. And it just sounded like a good idea at the moment. And then I was like, let me count everything. Because I have little, I've had those coin wraps, whatever they're called, the holders, for so long. And so I started stuffing those. Uh, can you take those to banks still? Because, I don't know, is it good? Is it important to keep coins like that? It's only, if you know, it's less than $50. But, okay, I'm going to go on a jog. It's Wednesday, so typically I would do like a Sydney Cummings workout. But last week I only ran one mile instead of my usual two. So this week I'm going to run three miles. And when I come back, I'll decide when I come back. But maybe I'll just do planks or something. A couple minutes of planks but otherwise I'll do abs so I need to hurry up though because the Sun is going to set good morning I'm filming to <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying I'm filming a full day of eating today so I'm vlogging and doing that so that should be interesting it's before 7 and I'm probably gonna practice Spanish right now I wanted to show another book <laughs> that I got are you guys sick of me talking about books I wasn't going to buy this one, but I figured it's also a little bit of an investment in my future. And it was like six bucks anyway, used. So this is called Your Next Move, The Leader's Guide to Navigating Major Career Transitions by Michael Watkins. Watkins. He's the author of The First 90 Days, and I was going to get that one, The First 90 Days, but that one seems like it's more tailored for leaders specifically or people like managers. I'm definitely not going into that position navigating major career transitions. I am gonna be going through a major career transi transition. So I thought this would be helpful to read during my first you know, month or so at my new job. And it looks pretty in interesting. Whoever had this before, let me show you. I hate when people do this. Like, can you at least use a highlighter? I don't like that. Cause when I read it, it's really distracting for me. Like use a highlighter at least. Luckily, it looks like maybe they didn't finish the book or they stopped using their damn pen on every line. There was one page, it was like everything was freaking underlined. Like what? <laughs> like, I don't know. that's excessive. And it's funny because it reminds me of, there's an episode of Schitt's Creek where Alexis, she like when she goes back to school, she's reading a paper or something and she has a highlighter and literally every single line is highlighted. And I think David is like, you missed the spot. <laughs> she's like, oh my God, where? And it also kind of reminds me of when I was in grad school because I had to read a lot of scientific papers, which is the worst. I'm looking forward to not having to do that again. Um, but I would highlight a lot because I'm like, this is important, this is important, and yeah. <laughs> I don't do that in books though. I'll highlight books, but I don't, I'm able to pick and choose what, what stands out to me, you know? <laughs> but when it comes to scientific papers, it's harder. But that clip, when I saw this, that's what I thought of, but that clip in Shit's Creek reminded me of me in grad school, so. Okay, I just came back from 
the eye doctor and he gave me he said everything looks fine i do see floaters and for those who don't know probably most people don't know i had corrective eye surgery i'm not crying i put in eye drops <laughs> I had corrective eye surgery in 2015. It's it's similar to LASIK, but it's called PRK. And basically my vision is 2020. I have a slight astigmatism in my left eye, but it doesn't bother me. So like, yeah, I have a very tiny prescription that they could give me, but I don't need that. He did say my eyes are dry though. And that's something that happened after that surgery like i can't keep i blink a lot if you watch my videos i blink a lot i can't help it i can't keep them open for very long so he suggested i try eye drops um he recommended these he gave me little samples and i just put them in what i don't like is it's actually a lot of liquid in there so i had to i went back into my eye like three times per eye so you you only use this one time and then you throw it out but i don't want to waste that amount of liquid in there because it's quite a bit so i put in like two drops per eye and there was still enough to do like another i don't know like 10 drops per eye so i don't know i'll think about buying these i probably should start i don't know what do y'all think is it important to just do that on a daily basis I do, lately, I've really been trying to make sure I wear my blue light glasses. I got some new ones from Amazon. I can link them below. They're pretty cute. It's clear lens. Yeah, they do work. It comes with like a little tester. And then I got these little, um, what do they call these? Tortoise? Something like that. I like these. So I try to wear them as frequently as I am on the computer or looking at my phone and it seems they've always seemed to help me so I just made my tea and I'm gonna have my Lara bar. I got a package I want to show y'all. This is something I knew I was gonna buy this year I just didn't know when and then I was on reddit and saw an ad for it on sale. So. I got a Samsung watch. How cute. I got the uh, Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. I got $80 off. So this cost me, including taxes and everything, it was $291, which I think is pretty good. Usually these sell for $350. And then, yeah, I had the discount that was, that was going on. Um, I'm not going to use this today because I just, I don't, I'm going to start tomorrow. I probably need to charge it or something. And I'm going to try it out for a week or two before I get rid of my Fitbit. Because I was... You can, like, trade in your watch to get money off. But I wasn't sure if I would like this. So I wanted to first see... Oh, wow. It's very beautiful. Look at that. Let me take a picture of this. They do have different colors you can get for the bands and such. Wow, this is really nice. I went with black because I just prefer that. This is the 42 millime millimeter. There's a 44 and a 40, but like in the different version. So I wanted the 40, but they didn't have, this is a little big. See, that's what I was concerned about. I'm a very tiny person, so I don't know how I feel about this size. Does that look stupid? Is that fine or too big? That just feels very large and in charge. But maybe, I don't know, like, is that fine? Thoughts? Yeah, I've been saving for a new phone, by the way. That's what I was going to say. So I've been saving for a new phone. I knew I wanted to buy this as well. So I pulled from that sinking fund. I still have money in there, but eventually I'm going to get a phone too. Just came up from the gym. I got my new Pros shampoo and conditioner. Very, very excited because these smell so good like a candle mm, it's like apple pie i'll link my referral link down below i think you get ten dollars off well well worth it in my opinion you guys see how much hair i have i only wash my hair once a week twice a week it's really like once a week but i this is my third bottle of pros and i've been using pros for almost a year my third bottle of shampoo. I've had the, the conditioner I have 
is the only conditioner I've had because I use so little. You really don't need that much hair. I mean, <laughs> you really don't need that much shampoo or conditioner when you're washing your hair. I think people go, go a little overboard because if I can wash all this hair and I just go through three bottles in one year, then you probably can too. <laughs> Hello and happy Friday. It's the Friday before a three day weekend. It's actually already like, what time? It's almost four o'clock. I got home from work a little after three and I ate my pre-workout snack, was watching a YouTube video. And at four o'clock I have a call. <laughs> and honestly, like I interviewed so much this past month or really in January that any sort of interview slash call type of thing, aside from like my clients, uh, is just, exhausting not exhausting it's just kind of draining <laughs> but this one's gonna be an hour and i don't want to say what it is because i don't know if i can i don't know if it's official yet but i'm so excited it's like literally probably the coolest thing to ever happen in my life ever and it's probably a little dramatic but still it is a really cool thing uh i'm sorry that i'm doing that i know that's so annoying where i'm like i can't talk about it yet but it will it will come out eventually and I'm very, very excited and hopefully this goes well and then I'll get the next steps. But truly, it's like the coolest thing. I am a little nervous because I just, I don't know what to expect right now. It's gonna be a video call, but I'm also very, very excited. I'm gonna gym. I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna go down to the gym. It's already six o'clock. This is really late. I'm hoping it's not Busy, it probably isn't because usually Friday it's not. Anyways, have y'all ever seen me wear this? Because this was like a big hint all along. First of all, is anybody who watches in Salesforce, does anybody you like, are you an end user or do you know how to be a Salesforce admin or anything of that sort? Because let me know, find me on LinkedIn or, or give me your LinkedIn. Feel free to email it to me and we can connect, but I think I've worn this on camera, but this was like, I got this in July, I think. Trailhead, that's where you learn Salesforce. Uh, if you're interested, you can go there for, get, it's free, it's free to learn. It says Trailblazer, it's called Trailhead. Um, I think that's it, there's like a little, here it is, Salesforce logo at the bottom. <laughs> uh, okay, I had my call, it was really good uh at least in my opinion so many questions i can't wait i cannot wait to tell you guys about this like i am just ecstatic and i was just talking to sebastian because 2021 was such a bad year but i just things are going so well for me right now and i am so grateful i just can't express it you know and i i just i can't i don't i'm so grateful and just feeling I don't know. I, that's all, the only thing I can think of is like gratitude and appreciation for how everything is going after what has happened. And I appreciate y'all like people being genuinely happy for me, even if like maybe people don't genuinely mean it, but it seems like it, you know, the way people comment. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Like, thank you, because you know, some people don't, oh, I, I was thanking Sebastian too, because he's, oh, he's always so genuinely happy for me and proud of me. And not everybody is like that. You know, some people don't really mean it, or some people can get jealous or just like, you know, it, some people just don't care like that. So it, it just really is amazing how supportive he is. And yeah, I'm just overwhelmed with like good things happening. And it's so, uh, so incredible. This is, um, this is the free COVID test. Did y'all, did y'all get yours? This was so long ago. Oh wow, four tests. Self-test at home results in 15 minutes. Well, now that COVID's over, used by July. Also, I've been wearing this watch for a full 12 hours now, and I do like it. I do think it's a little large. I think it's too big for my hand and I definitely need to get used to the feeling of this because 
it's like a larger surface area and kind of on my bone that's I'm just tiny um, like really tiny wrist but I really like it I think the problem the annoying thing is the battery it's already at 37% it was at a hundred last night like when I went to bed um, I really like that I can control my music from here that is a game changer I like this whole oh you can't even see it um, the display is really nice because it's like it shows the time the battery the date my steps and then the current weather and you can change the the front of it and then I can even control the volume of my music of my headphones which I thought was amazing <laughs> Hello? I don't think I've shared this yet, but I do want to show it because it is so cool and I think it's something I'm going to use for my new job as well. So I wanted to, I don't know, let me just talk about it. It's the Rocketbook notebook. This was a gift from Sebastian actually for Christmas. And he's like so convinced that I don't use it, but I do. Um, so what you do is, let me go to a page where it's like, you can't see names. Okay, so I was writing just like quick notes, but you can just write on here. You, have, you do have to use a special pen and then the, at the bottom they have like little codes or icons that you can, you just put an X. So you would go like this, for example, this is a little diamond. And I would take a picture of this with the app, it's called the Rocketbook app, and then it uploads to wherever I want that icon to upload to. So that icon for me is designated to Google Drive. So I put all of my um, client's notes Anything that I take notes on with my clients is in here. And then I take a photo of it, put it onto my drive so that I can then just erase this and refer back to my Google Drive when I talk to them again. What's cool is this saves so much paper and clutter because the reason he bought this for me was because, oh, okay, so what happens now is I can erase it. So that's what I meant to show y'all. So you literally just like, it's going away. This is just wet and it just goes away. The reason Sebastian got this for me is because I literally have paper, had papers everywhere. So before I was using loose leaf paper to keep track of my client calls. And I just like, it would <laughs> get so unorganized. I literally would just have papers all over the desk, all over my floor even. And then I sometimes wouldn't even be able to find the paper. So I would always find them. Like I don't, I don't misplace things really. It, it would take me some time to find where I wrote those notes. So I'd have to like look through my piles of paper and then I would find it. But now this just eliminates that and I can just reuse this over and over. So I just erased that whole page. How cool is that? It comes with this little cloth, by the way. That's the little logo. <laughs> We're back in the car. Ooh, it's 11-11. Make a wish. That's We're going hot. to a coffee shop to go review a coffee. And we, we were going to go to one that was that's local to here, but we figured that's probably not the best idea since most pe uh, nobody watching those videos is going to go to that coffee shop because it's not nationwide. So we're going to do a caribou coffee since that's, you know, around the country. We parked at Caribou and this is like super stressful. I'm anxious now. I hate driving out here. This is like Atlanta near Piedmont Park and there's just a lot of people, a lot of cars, a lot of your dad. Say hi. Oh, how do you have his number? <laughs> Hey, Leila. Hola. How are you? Bien, ¿y tú?
got my Alex drawer. The line is literally probably how long? 150 feet. Oh, more than that. Wow. Definitely way more. Got my Alex drawers. Oi. It's all done. That took an hour and a half. Good. Cute. Thanks, babe. How long? Ready at 6.34. I thought you were going to come from that way. Sorry. Hello? It smells good. It's, it's, it's worth it now. <laughs> it's worth it now? Let me check Looks it. Looks like you got breadsticks. Of course. I did too. Can I put this on you real quick? Sure. I just gotta check, make sure it's got my toppings, my vegan. It's the vegan one. That looks good. Let me see. Look at that, y'all. Don't let this smell out. <laughs> Don't let the heat out. <laughs> We loaded that baby. Okay. That's some cheese. We are... Well, happy Sunday, first of all. Doesn't feel like Sunday because we have tomorrow off for President's Day, but we ate the rest of our pizza. Just chilling. But now we are walking and we came to a neighborhood that we used to always come to and we love the houses here. Um, a lot of them. Oh, that's interesting. A lot of them are so, so beautiful or they're remodeled so they're like brand new builds but on top of like old property. They're just all so unique. I would love to live in this neighborhood but the houses are probably, how much at least? It's like 700 and above. Yeah, I would say 600, 700 and up. Probably the bulk of them are in the millions at this point, so it's a bit upsetting. At least we can walk here though. From our walk, we walked about three miles, which was good. I wanted to walk more. We wanted to start, we wanted a coffee, so got a Starbucks. It was so good. 10 out of 10, Toffee Nut Syrup is back. Toffee Nut has been out. I don't know if any of you are fans of the Toffee Nut Syrup at Starbucks, but that's my favorite. That's like the salted caramel flavor. And for months, it's been gone. It's like a supply chain shortage type of thing going on, you know? And it's finally back, so that's exciting. And uh, that was really good. We just shared a, t a venti, sat there for a bit, and we're just talking. And came. I have a, I had a package, and I thought it was something I ordered, but then it was from Amazon. I didn't order anything. Like nothing had said delivered from Amazon. And it's my first little. What is this? <laughs> accessory. Work accessory. Yeah. <laughs> they told me that they're sending. Like everything's coming, it's on its way, but it's in parts. Um, you guys know how Amazon works, but this is the first thing I've gotten so far. So it's a little headset when I have my consulting calls. <laughs> Hi. Hey, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> I dare you to put that in the video because I might cut it off. No, I'll put that in the video. <laughs> the reason I say that is because I don't think I've ever talked about it. Loretta knows about it, but when he was first getting into sales, I think when you were at Rev, he was like super into sales, he still is. 
and I was sleeping at his house and we were, it was the middle of the night, he was sleeping and he talks in his sleep a lot and or screams, but <laughs> he was dreaming and he had said, hey Adam, so loudly. It obviously woke me up and then he kept talking after that. I don't remember, I wish I could record it or I sh wish should have wrote it down. He was like making a sales call in his sleep and he literally shouted, hey Adam. So whenever I hear that name, that's what I think of, but <laughs> yeah, this is pretty cool. This is, these are really nice. It's noise canceling, which is good because I, there's constantly sirens going by or dogs barking. So we'll see how that all works out. Um, they're also sending me, of course, a laptop and then a mm -hmm. monitor, a monitor, keyboard and mouse, but they told me it will come, you know, over the next week or so. <laughs>